Welcome to our tour through Vienna at night. Get ready for wonderful views of this great city at dusk and also at night. We take you to the famous Hofburg in Vienna. The Hofburg was the residence for the Austrian sovereign for over 600 years. The Vienna Hofburg is one of the largest palace complexes in the world. The oldest parts date from the 13th century. This famous building was the residence and the government center of the Habsburg emperors until 1918. The Hofburg is located in the center of Vienna. Today it is the official residence of the President of Austria. In this complex there are also the Spanish Riding School, some museums, a Congress Center, and the historic Heldenplatz, Heroes Square. In front of you you can see the Ossierberg Tor. It is located between Heldenplatz, Heroes Square, and the Ringstrasse, and is also called Heldenter. The two buildings with the wonderful domes which you can see are the Museum of Art History and the Natural History Museum. It is one of the most important natural history museums worldwide. You can marvel at the pomp and splendor of the everyday life of the former imperial family with a visit to the private apartments and state rooms. The imperial apartments give an insight into the private living atmosphere of Emperor Franz Joseph and his wife Elizabeth, the Empress of Austria, who became famous under the name Sissy. The story of the Empress Elizabeth of Austria is famous for many people. There are many novels and movies about her. You also can visit the Silver Chamber in the Hofburg. It offers an insight into the courtly dining culture of the former imperial family. The historic Heldenplatz is dominated by the monumental equestrian statues of Prince Eugene and Archduke Karl. A horse-drawn carriage ride through the city center is one of the most leisurely ways in Vienna. Carriages were once a means of transportation, but today they have become a popular attraction for visitors to the city. Enjoy this wonderful city at dusk with its fantastic lighting. The capital of Austria with its variety of historic and modern architecture is magnificent. In Vienna music is literally in the air. Many famous musicians have lived here, such as Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Ludwig van Beethoven, Joseph Haydn, Franz Schubert, Johann Strauss' father, Johann Strauss' son and Antonio Vivaldi. Almost every district can tell stories of well-known composers. Johann Strauss' son was in charge of all court balls until 1871. During this time Strauss only composed dance music, which established his reputation as the Waltz King. In 1866-1867 he composed the Danube Waltz on the beautiful Blue Danube, which later became world-famous and is now considered the unofficial anthem of Vienna and Austria, in his apartment at the time Praterstrasse II. His father Johann Strauss is best known for his composition of the Radetzky March. The impressive building in front of you is the Vienna City Hall, the seat of the local government of Vienna. It was built from 1872 to 1883, and it is one of many historic buildings of the Ringstrasse.
The Burg Theater Castle Theater alternatively translates as Imperial Court Theater, or is the National Theater of Austria. It is one of the most important theaters in the world. It was opened in 1741, the creation of the Habsburg Empress Maria Theresa of Austria, who wanted a theater next to her palace. Let us now get back to the Heldenplatz. Do you know that you can follow the footsteps of Mozart in Vienna? From Palace Schönbrunn to the Stevens Cathedral to the House of Mozart with the composer's originally preserved apartment. Here's some facts about the Stephens Cathedral, which unfortunately we can't get past now. The Stephens's Cathedral, more known by its German name Stephensdom, is located on the Stephensplatz and one of the tallest churches in the world. The cathedral is one of the most important attractions of the city. The Stephensdom dates from the 12th century. The shimmering roof with over 230,000 tiles which were used to create various patterns, is breathtaking. By the way, do you know another interesting fact about the Hofburg, with its Spanish riding school, with their world-famous lippets on her horses? In the Hofburg you can find the famous white horses, and they are born with dark fur. In summer you can find the Mares, with their foals, in the castle garden. Now let us listen, and enjoy the unofficial anthem of Vienna and Austria, while we continue our tour through this breathtaking city. The world famous Danube Waltz.
Now we have a break in your tour. Welcome in the modern part of Vienna. Isn't the contrast of the modern and older architecture great to look at? In this city you have it all, magnificent old buildings and modern tall buildings. It feels like a different world, but all is united in one city. In front of you, you can marvel at a fantastic building. It is the Nui Donau skyscraper. When you translate it, it means, the New Danube skyscraper. The Nui Donau skyscraper, is one of the tallest, residential buildings in Vienna. It was designed by architect Harry Seidler, between 1999, and 2002, and has 33 floors. The skyscraper is 120 high, and with a concrete sculpture on top, it is 150 high. There are offices on the lower floors, above that there are apartments, and in the upper floor, there are the penthouses. Take a short moment to enjoy the view of Vienna at night. Vienna has been voted as the world's most livable city many years in a row. This is due to the social and economic climate, but also the education and environmental conditions of the city. Wouldn't it be nice to live in a city where you can see the history of the city, but also you can see the modern part? What a great place to see! In front of you, you can see the ACV. The ACV, Austria Center Vienna, is Austria's largest conference center. It is located in the 22nd district of Vienna, Donaustad. It is one of the leading conference centers in Europe. Have a look at the Donaturm, the Danube Tower. It is the tallest structure in Austria, and 252 meters high. It is also located in the district of Donaustad. The tower was constructed during 1962 and 1964, for the Vienna International Garden Show. In the Donaustad there are also the IZD Tower, the International Zentrum Donaustad, and the DC Towers, the Donau City Towers. At the moment, there is only one DC tower, which is completed, the other one is still in the building process. The DC tower is 250 meters high, and is the tallest building in Austria. The design of this tower shows a wonderful lightness. This is caused by the waveform of the facade. The tower contains among other things a hotel, a fitness club, a skyloft and several offices. On the left, you can see the Vienna International Center. The building hosts the United Nations office at Vienna. It is also known as Uno City. The building consists of six Y-shaped office towers, and was built from 1973 to 1979.
Here we are almost at the end of our tour through this great city. We have seen spectacular impressions of very famous and historic buildings, such as the Hofburg or the Heldenter. And we gained nice insights in the architecture of this city of the 20th and 21st century. We hope you enjoyed it.